Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bill. I'm that expat and I live in the Philippines. Now today's prepper backpacking meal we're going to try is another one from Mountain House. All right. So this is their Pro Pack edition. Now we've done one of these before, but this one is the Pro Pack for the Chili Mac. No artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, so it says. This is freeze dried. It is a spicy sauce with macaroni, beef, and beans. Now this is a single serving packet and it says it has 30 grams of protein and 570 calories per serving. Okay. On the back, ingredients is basically macaroni in, I don't know if these are preservatives or, or not, but you got ferrous sulfate, thiamine mana, trite, riboflavin, folic acid. So there's some, there's some things that I would probably consider artificial something in there, but uh, we'll go with what they say. This has a best buy date of December 2052. Okay, so these guys are, this is the second one I've, I've done of these. They're, they go out there for quite a long ways. Um, what else am I gonna tell you about it? It is 25% of your daily fat and sodium is 66%, okay? So like most of these mills, they're pretty high in sodium. So let me go ahead and uh, open this up here. Let's see, what's the direction say? Open package, add tear notch, okay, it's here. Remove and discard oxygen absorber. Carefully add one and three quarters cup of boiling water. Stir carefully and close. Wait five minutes, stir again and reseal. And then let's stand for an additional four minutes. Okay, guys. So, tear at the thing. All right. Now, here's our first look here. I see beans. I see chili powder. I see an oxygen absorber kind of hiding down in there a little bit. And I'm seeing what I assume is going to be chunks of beef. All right, let me set this down so I can get this oxygen absorber out of here. Ooh, this one's in there pretty good. All right, so yeah. I see some, uh, looks like, they say black beans, but it looks like uh, kidney beans to me. I don't know, we'll see. Chili powder. It has a very faint smell of chili very faint all right guys i'm gonna get the water i'll be right back we'll add the water and then we'll set the timer stand by two seconds all right guys i am back up here with some boiling just off the stove hot water i'm gonna add one and three quarters cup this is a half a cup here so one two is my one cup Three is one and a half. And then my little quarter cup here. All right, so one and three quarters of a cup. It says stir. Boy, it's hot water for sure. All right, this is what it looks like if the steam doesn't fog the camera up there. So it's got a pretty good color to it. I am going to close this. It does have a seal. And just so you guys know, the bag is gusseted a little bit, so it will stand, which is nice. Yeah, let's set my timer. Clock. Five minutes is what they're asking for, okay. Five minutes on the clock. Now, this is where I'm gonna tell you, as I do in all of these hiking um, review videos for the food, that these aren't necessarily a good return on the investment, okay? Uh, these are very good if you're looking to carry lightweight food and you have a water source somewhere, like, you know, hiking, day pack, day, tripping, same, same. 
uh, then these are fine, but they're still expensive. Um, and I'll post the price that I paid for that probably here, so you guys can understand that for basic uh, pasta, cheese powder, meat, and a few beans, it's, it's pretty expensive. But that being said, um, it does have a long shelf life because it's been freeze dried. All right, guys, so I am going to wait another four minutes and 10 seconds, and you'll see me in two. All right, guys, we got one minute left, and I want to take this opportunity to ask you guys to go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not a current subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot more than just uh, freeze dried food reviews. I actually own a freeze dry machine from Harvest Right, and I do freeze dry my own food. So go ahead and take a look around. If you got stuff you like, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button then so you get notified for future stuff. All right, guys, we are at 45 seconds before I do a stir. Now, I did read this back there for a second. It does contain wheat, so if, if anyone has a, a wheat issue, and I'm assuming that's in the macaroni, that's the pasta. I'm almost pretty positive of that. All right, so. 20, 24 seconds. Now, I, I brought a small bowl. I hope it fits, to be honest with you. We'll find out here. All right, down to 10 seconds here. And I'm using the, the timer to give uh, Mountain House, in this case, the exact settings of what they tell me. If they tell me they need something, I'm going to try to give them exactly what they need. Dismiss that. Now this is just a stir. Now before I stir it up, let's take a peek. It has thickened quite a lot, so it's rehydrating pretty well there. But let me give it the, the stir. Yeah, it's a little wet still. Okay, for sure. I'm gonna just give it a good stir here. Try to get all the way down in the bottom. I'm going to close this back up. And the directions say now, specifically, let's stand an additional four minutes and then serve or eat out of the pouch. So let me set my timer. Another four minutes for you guys. But you're lucky. You'll see it in two seconds. Stand by. All right, guys, we are down to 12 seconds of the final rest according to the manufacturer. So just so you guys know, let me go ahead and set the camera back down. All right, I'm gonna dismiss that. Now, with my experience of doing freeze-dried food, this may or may not be ready. So I'm just gonna take a, a mid-sample here of the pasta and everything. I'm gonna keep it in the bag because if it needs to go longer, I'm gonna let it go longer. But that is what it looks like. I have a bean, some meat, which is like a pretty fair amount of meat there, and some tiny elbow macaronis. So let's take a bite here. Mmm. You, you definitely get the chili. Now, there's a lot of meat in there, and it's just a little undone from the rehydration. The pasta actually seemed like it was pretty done. It seemed like the problem was the meat, but it is close enough that I will go ahead and pour it in a bowl here. And it does fit. Now this is a single serving as I did mention. And it is hot, the bag is hot too. Now you can see by the color of this, it's pretty dark. And I think that has to do with the chili mix because you definitely can taste the chili in here. And uh, let me get another bite here. Mm. So I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit because it's definitely not fully rehydrated, which I figured. And this is um, just the, the facts I get with all of these. If it takes seven minutes, they should say, uh, give it seven minutes, right? It's not hard to test this. But anyways, it actually tastes pretty good. There is quite a lot of meat in here, surprisingly. Um, yeah, I mean, they didn't, they didn't go cheap on the meat at all. They could have overloaded this with macaroni. This is almost a chili with pasta. 
Um, and they do call it Chili Mac, so it is Chili Front in the name, so I kind of believe it. It would have probably been good with some cheese. Chili Cheese Mac is good. Anyways, guys, I like it. I'll put it about a six out of 10, and uh, it doesn't get a super high review because it's Chili Mac, right? Very straightforward. Now, I've made a lot of my own Chili Mac and Chili Cheese Mac. Go ahead and check out those videos if you want to see how I create those, and I freeze dry them myself. And until next time, um, all you guys, Please be safe. Thank you.